and to details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi attended on Wednesday the Armed Forces Cultural Symposium on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of October War Victory. President El Sisi saluted the heroes of Ras al Aish battle, asking the attendees to stand up for them as a kind of respect and appreciation. The President also saluted Brigadier General Ahmad Shawqi despite his absence for health reasons. The President greeted members of the commander's team, saying their names would be written in gold and their patriotism and sacrifices would always be remembered. President El Sisi also stressed the significance of the October War victory as being a day of pride and honor, which the President said proved the Egyptians' capability to achieve the impossible in the hardest times. The President said that Egypt succeeded to rebuild its army during the period from 1967 till 1973, pointing out that the 6th of October Glory Day would always be engraved not only in Egypt's history, but also in the history of the entire Arab nation. The President also honored a number of armed forces heroes of October War victory. Addressing the event, President El Sisi praised the patriotic role of the armed forces as well as late President Muhammad Anwar Sadat. The President said that in October 1973, the Egyptians turned the wounds into a great working power, adding that Egypt faced this great challenge with self-confidence and belief. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli headed on Wednesday the weekly cabinet meeting. During the meeting, the Prime Minister said that the government will immediately start implementing the presidential directives issued at the conclusion of the three-day conference Story of a Nation between vision and achievement. The Prime Minister pointed out that the conference showed the state's implementation of unprecedented development and services projects in different sectors, stressing that the government will continue exerting utmost efforts in all development and construction sectors. The Prime Minister also congratulated President El Sisi, the armed forces and the Egyptian people on the golden jubilee of the 6th of October war victory. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli witnessed the signing of an agreement between the Suez Canal Economic Zone, Egypt's Sovereignty Fund and New and Renewable Energy Authority, as well as the Egyptian Company for Electricity Transportation. The signing ceremony was held on Wednesday at the government headquarters in the new administrative capital. During the ceremony, the Prime Minister asserted the state's continuous efforts to expand in the green energy domain for producing green hydrogen and its derivatives. The agreement stipulates the implementation of a new project for green fuel production at investments of three billion pounds for its first phase. The project aims at providing clean fuel for vessels and eliminating carbon emissions to reach a zero level. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri received on Wednesday Chairman of National Elections Authority Board of Directors Walid Hamza. The meeting discussed the Foreign Ministry's preparations for the Egyptian expatriates vote in the upcoming presidential for 2024 according to the NEA regulations. Shukri asserted keenness of the diplomatic commissions abroad on committing with their role in following up the voting process within a framework of transparency and neutrality principles. Head of National Media Authority Hussein Zain extended sincere congratulations to President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on the occasion of the anniversary of October War Victory. Zain also sent congratulations to the Minister of Defense and Military Production and the leaders and officers of the armed forces for their efforts and strong support of the homeland as well as their sacrifices to preserve the security and safety of the country and the Egyptians. Zain reiterated that the October generation will continue to inspire all future generations with meanings of sacrifice to protect their country and face all challenges. The head of National Media Authority also praised the achievements accomplished during the past years in various domains, a matter which he said asserted that Egypt is going forward on the right track.
various parties including Al Wafd, Egypt's Liberation, Misr October, Misr Baladi, and Al Ghad sent congratulatory cables to President Abdel Fattah al Sisi on the occasion marking the Golden Jubilee of October War Victory. Meanwhile, the Orthodox Coptic Church, headed by Pope Taudros II, congratulated the President, the armed forces, and the Egyptian people on this occasion.